did do an overflight, the one by Steve Heiser, on October 14th, and that's when we realized, oh my God, they're, they're putting in missiles, intercontinental, ballistic range missiles, medium range, the works. And, you know, when I started the project, I'm thinking, well, Khrushchev was, you know, half-baked. I remember he took his shoe off once and to get attention, was pounding it on the podium. Uh, but in my research, I began to realize this was a pretty shrewd operator, you know, served through World War II and rose through the ranks. And read some of his memoirs, but actually had a good conversation with his son who, believe it or not, is a U.S. citizen, Sergei. And so Sergei opened up new insights into his father because Sergei was old enough at the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis to ask his dad questions. And he recalls taking walks with his father during this 13-day crisis and talking about it. So he imparted some of the things that he remembered. And one of which was he said, uh, my dad's greatest fear was that somebody down on the ground in Cuba, you know, one of our Soviet military people, might have a different agenda than him during the crisis and that things may spiral out of control because of some miscommunication and he'd lose, you know, being the one in charge. And I remember saying, that's remarkable because the way you phrase that is almost the exact way JFK explained his biggest fear to Bobby, saying, I, I've just finished reading this book, it was called The Guns of August, and he said, uh, in the book, it talks about the way the country stumbled into World War I, and he said, that's my concern, that some miscommunication, some screw-up is going to lead us into nuclear war, and, and it's not going to be because I authorized it. And so the two leaders had a very you know, similar perspective on how dangerous this was and how it could get out of hand. And Kennedy also said it's not just a military threat having those missiles there. You know, they could reach Washington, D.C. in nine minutes. He said it's, it's a political one.